Succession Season 2 is about to premiere, so if you haven't seen Season 1 or you just need a refresher, we've got you covered. This is everything you need to know about Succession Season 1 in 5 minutes or less. Succession follows a Murdoch-esque family known as the Roys, who own a global media empire which encompasses a movie studio, news network, theme parks, and just about everything else under the sun. The family patriarch is Logan Roy. He runs the company, Waystar Royco, and as the series begins, he's at a very precarious place amongst his children. He plans on making his current wife Marsha his successor, and he blindsides his son Kendall by refusing to step down as CEO, a job Kendall was to take over the very next day. On his 80th birthday, Logan suffers a stroke, an inciting incident to the family turmoil that would follow. Kendall Roy is furious over his father's decision to remain CEO and spends most of season one trying to stage a company coup. Although he's struggling with his own demons, namely a worsening drug problem, Kendall thinks Logan's age and declining health are leading to questionable business decisions and he should therefore be ousted. One of those questionable business decisions was Logan firing his longtime friend and business partner Frank to hire on his youngest son, Roman, as the new COO. Roman is loud and brash. He's cocky, but immature, and lacks the focus and ideas needed to properly lead a company. In fact, he's failed at several leadership positions. Notably, as the head of Waystar Royco's film division, he embarrassingly passed on a huge holiday tentpole. Logan's only daughter, Shiv, largely stays out of the drama of the family business. She's a political consultant working for presidential candidate Gil Evis, who is publicly against Waystar Royco's attempted takeover of local news and their Fox News-like network ATN. Although she is working for a public rival of her family's company, Shiv is engaged to Tom Wamsgans, who heads Waystar Royco's Parks Division. Working under Tom in the Parks Division is Cousin Greg. Greg is a bit of a bumbling stoner. He means well, but appears completely out of his depth in the cutthroat billion-dollar business world. Despite that, he seems savvy enough to stumble his way up the corporate ladder by being in the right place at the right time to uncover a lot of company secrets. Notably, he and Tom discover a massive cover-up on the Waystar Royco-owned cruise ships involving sexual assault and murder on the high seas. And it's here where I'll say, if you're watching this video because you haven't seen Season 1 of Succession at all, go watch Succession. The absolute genius beauty of Tom and Greg's relationship can't be adequately summarized by a quick recap video. Trying to seduce me, Tom? <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes, I am, Greg. <laughs> anyway, Logan's eldest son, his only from a previous marriage, is Connor Roy. Connor largely stays out of the company politics, instead residing on a ranch and living a libertine lifestyle. But don't let that fool you. He's just as messed up as the rest of his family, having an inflated sense of self-worth, pretentiousness, and illusions of grandeur. He also happens to be paying a young woman named Willa to be his girlfriend. So, those are the characters in the family, and for the most part, Season 1 sees the Roy children on a united front against their father and his wife, Marsha. Kendall tries to stage a vote of no confidence against Logan amongst the Waystar Roy Co. board members, but after missing the meeting due to being caught up in traffic and Roman bending to the will of his father, Logan remains CEO and ousts Kendall from the company. This further sends Kendall's life into disarray, but he continues to try to take Logan down from the outside. The season culminates at the wedding of Shiv and Tom. At the wedding, Shiv confesses to Tom she has been cheating on him with fellow political consultant Nate, but the newly married couple manage to work things out. Connor decides, in all of his self-aware glory, to run for president, president of, of the United, United States. States. <laughs> Okay, wow. Roman, who was responsible for overseeing a rocket launch, sees his plans literally go up in flames. And then there's Kendall. He's made plans to overthrow Logan via a hostile takeover with his old friend Stewie and Logan's business rival Sandy. He's got Logan backed into a corner, but when his father lashes out at him in anger, Kendall goes off in search of drugs, resulting in a car crash and the death of his drug contact, a waiter at Shiv and Tom's wedding. 
The next day, Logan makes it very clear to Kendall that the flow of power has once again shifted back to the elder Roy. Kendall's hotel keycard was found in the waiter's car, and if the waiter's death was to go away without consequence, Kendall would have to pull out of the Waystar takeover. And so Kendall is left a blubbering, crying fool and forced to let his father clean up the giant mess he has made. The season then ends with Logan firmly in power of Waystar Royco and Kendall seemingly falling back in line as a company yes man. But what will happen in season two? How will this family deal with all of the chaos they caused in season one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.